Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Arvin, with another anime review. This is going to be on Kagaguri uh, Season 2. It is airing currently on Netflix. The entire second season is already out. I uh, did a first impressions not so long ago and finally finished the, fir uh, sorry, the, the second season uh, for you guys. And anyways, uh, pretty good second season. I will give my opinion more than anything on this video. So I will let you guys uh, know right before I say these things. One, if you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys don't mind. And you guys will be notified when I go live or when I upload videos just like this one. Uh, secondly, if you guys want to check out more anime reviews, there is a lot of them in my channel. So go check those out. And then lastly, there is a spoiler alert. I won't talk too much in detail, to be honest, on this one. Just because uh, the anime itself it's set up in a way that it very... It, you, if you say anything, it ruins the entire thing. So anyways, I won't talk too much in detail, but I will still want to give a little warning just in case. So um, we follow our nice friend Yumiko and Ryota for the entire second season, and Mary does show up. I, in my first impressions, I had mentioned that I hadn't seen Mary in the, in the second season. She does show up, and she actually is an important part. Uh, with Rurika, the vice president, she ends up, they end up teaming up at some point in the uh, second season. Um, anyways, Kir Kirari, the uh, president of the student council, um, we know that she became president through gambling. She was a freshman, she gambled with the, the current president, and she became president that way. So Kirari is the president, she is bored, and essentially decides to um, throw a, a gamble competition for the entire school to see who ends up being the new uh, president of the student council. So. Um, with that being, a lot of uh, people from a clan show up and they kind of transfer in through the permission of Kirari into the school so they can gamble. And essentially, it becomes school against clan um, in a lot of the games. And there is fewer games, I, I felt, on this season. I believe there was only about four games the entire season. And they weren't as interesting as the first season. I will say I enjoyed the card games the most. Uh, the first one where they had to put their fingers and I explained about it in my first impressions. That one was pretty good as well. The last games, they were kind of boring and kind of predictable of how to win and how to do stuff. How to cheat, I guess you can say. So I just didn't really enjoy them. I, I didn't think they were that well planned out. Um, the character buildup is still good. We we see some of the characters from the previous season, uh, especially the ones that she de uh, destroyed, Midari and and uh, 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 other characters. You 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 Mami and 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 uh, there's another character I forgot who who his name is, but who she basically destroyed and left them to basically be embarrassed in front of the entire school and their fan group and anyways uh we learn more about them and uh, what happened to them and you know do they respect yumiko or not and obviously there is some character build up there as well but it's almost rushed at some point it, it there is no conclusion of who becomes really the president and it it just felt like they should have done more episodes for the season 12 episodes weren't, weren't enough, obviously, for the second season. And they should have done at least 24 episodes to give us the ending of the of the competition. Now, that was the whole point, at least through my first impressions, of what the second season was going to be about. And it really just gave us a starting point of how the competition is going. We don't really learn much about the clan other than maybe one or two characters that she defeats. And the rest, she defeats a group of them at once, but... Even then, it's just, you know, kind of annoying. It's just, the clan is not built up. Their character's not built up. We don't see any really story behind them other than maybe a handful of them. Uh, maybe two or three, we get a story from them. The rest are just kind of left in the mystery. Now, I do realize that they're probably going to make a third season. And they're, they probably want to wait for us and kind of give us a hook. But for me, it just kind of felt like it wasn't an ending. Like, it, it just really felt... Like, it was going to continue after the 12th episode, and it didn't. So, 
a little bit upset about that. I will say the first season kind of felt the same way towards the end. So out of 10, I'm going to give this one, for right now, a 7. I I am upset at the ending. Some of the build-up wasn't that well done, but it's still good anime. I still highly recommend it. I still think people should watch this anime if they have not. Uh, there is two seasons out, and you guys should at least give it a try. At least watch the first season. Uh, and if you enjoy the first season, watch the second season. And hopefully there's a third season. But if Netflix is stupid with us again, we won't see it for a while. Until then, we will have to wait for more episodes. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys don't mind. And you'll be notified when I go live. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this season. I, I, I truly am uh, a little bit upset on the ending, but oh well. Uh, let me guys let, let me know what you guys think and uh, with nothing else to say thank you for your support and love and like always don't be strangers thank you guys bye